Okay, question number seven from the practice paper A from Pure Mathematics 2 International A Level, uh, part one. Um, hold on, let me just split this up. Okay, that's better. I've just made some space. Uh, part one says show that the sum of 3 plus 5r plus 2 to the power of r when you put in 1 instead of r and then 2 and then 3 and then 4 and then 5 all the way up to 16 and you add all of those together gives you 131,798. Now what we can see here is that these are kind of like a mix match here. All right, so if it was like just an arithmetic series or just a geometric series, we could use our formula. We can't use a formula for this. Like, for example, if I put in r equals 1 and see what I get, and r equals 2 and see what I get, and r equals 3 and see what I get, you're going to get 3 plus 5 plus 2, okay? 3 plus 5 plus 2, that's 10. So when r equals 1, you're going to get 10. When r equals 2, you're going to get 3 plus 10, which is 13. Okay, sorry, yeah, 3 plus 10, which is 13, plus 4, which is 17. When r equals 3, you're going to get 3 plus 15, plus 8. So 3 plus 15 is 18, plus 8 is 26. Okay, and if you put r equals 4, you're going to get 3 plus 20, plus uh, 2 to the power of 4, 16, 3 plus 20, 23 plus 16 is 39. So you can see that there's not really any pattern here. You're going up by 7, then you're going up by 9, then you're going up by 27, 26 to 39, that's 36, that's 13. Okay, so you're going up by 2, and then you're going up by 4. And if you tried 5 in here, you're going to get 3 plus 25, that's 28 plus 2 to the power of 5, which is um, 32. Okay, 28 plus 32, that's going to give you 60. So you're going up by, that's, you know, that's going to be 21. So there's no pattern here. Going up by 2, then by 4, then by, you know, 13 to 21 is about 8. It, there's not really any pattern here for us to say it's going to be, it's a geometric sequence or it's a, it's a, arithmetic sequence and we can see that from here that this is to the power of something that's like a and this is like 3 plus 5 r so what we can do is we can split it up into two separate sequences I can do the following I can say let's make this I mean and also it would be a big hassle if we were to do put 1 into there and then put 2 and then 3 all the way up to 16 um, and then add them together that would probably give you the marks you could put 1 in here then 2 in here, then 3 in here, then 4 in here, then 5, all the way to 16 and add them together and you would get that answer. But it's a long-winded way. So what we could do here is we could say, okay, let's split this up into 3 plus 5r. That looks like it's going to be an arithmetic ser series. So we're going to have from r equals 1 to 16 of 3 plus 5r plus another sequence from r equals 1 to 16 of 2 to the power of r. Okay, and let's see what that will give us. So if you look at the first part of the sequence, you're going to have sigma, okay, 3 plus 5r from r equals 1 to 16. So let's just generate a few terms. You're going to have 3 plus 5, which is 8, plus, you're going to have 3 plus 2 times 5, that's 10, that's 13. Plus, and you're going to have 3 times um, 3 times 5, 3 plus, sorry, 3 times 5, so it's 15 plus 3, that's 18. So we can see there's a pattern, it's going up by 5 each time. Plus, and you'll, just to make sure, that's 5, that's, uh, we, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 23. So again, we can see that, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down the last, the very last term. That's 3 plus 5 times 16. That's uh, 50, 30, 80, 83. So the last term of this sequence is 83. Right? So this is an arithmetic. See, this is arithmetic. Okay? So I can use the formula for the sum of arithmetic ser series. Okay, now the easiest formula to use in this case 
when you know the first and the last term and you know the number of terms is the sum of n terms is equal to n over 2 times the first term plus the last term. But you've got to be careful when you're working out the sum of the, uh, the number of terms. Here n is going to be 16 minus 1 plus 1. Okay, in this case, it doesn't make any difference. It's going to be 16. Okay, um, but sometimes, for example, if we said r is equal, uh, r is from 3 to 16. Okay, there's actually, you don't do 16 minus 3 and say that's 13 terms. Actually, there's actually 14 terms. You have to always add 1 to the subtraction. If I subtracted these, it would give me 15, you see. But there's not 15 terms, there's 16 terms. So whenever, if it doesn't start from 1, you've got to be careful. Okay, anyway, so... There's 16 terms, so we can say that this is going to be 16 over 2 times the first term, which is 8, plus the last term, which is 83. Okay, so that gives us a sum. That's for the first, this is for the first part of the sequence. And this is another part of the sequence. So the first part of the sequence will give us a sum of um, 16 over 2, which is 8, times, that's going to be 91 which gives us 728 so that's the sum of those numbers then we got the other type of sequence so this is the first then we got the other one which let's generate a few terms and make sure what it is it looks like it's geometric to me but you're going to have 2 to the power of r okay from r is 1 up to 16 my calculator needs I mean sorry, my computer needs to be restarted but anyway let's bear with it that's 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of 2, plus 2 to the power of 3, plus 2 to the power of 4, plus dot dot dot, all the way to the end, which is going to be 2 to the power of 16. Okay, so we can see that the common ratio is 2. Okay, it's a geometric sequence. You have to multiply by the same number each time, 2 each time to get to the next number. So we can see that the first term here is 2, and the common ratio is also 2 and we know that the sum of n terms in a geometric series is given by a times now if, it's, if r is bigger than 1 it's better to write in this way 2 to the power of n minus 1 over sorry let me just write the general formula first the common ratio to the power of n minus 1 come on pen so common ratio to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1 so in this particular case okay in this particular case we will have the sum of the first 16 terms is going to be the first term which is 2 times 2 to the power of 16 minus 1 over 16 minus 1 which is 15 so let's see what that gives us. The sum of the first 16 terms will therefore be, this is for that part of the sequence, let's stick that in our calculator, we've got 2, we've got 2 times 2 to the power of 16 minus 1 divided by 15. Why 15? What a silly mistake. Sorry about that. You're probably thinking, what's he doing? <laughs> That's r minus 1, which is divided by 1. So we don't have to divide it by anything, because we don't have to put anything there. Let's just get rid of that. Sorry about that. Um, I've been doing so many questions, I'm tired now. So 2, 2 to the power of 16 minus 1. Okay, divided by 1, which gives us 131081310070 so therefore the total okay is going to be this plus 728 so 13 I'm going to restart the computer after this so you got 131 131000 and 70 plus 728 which will give us a grand total of 131,000 
And when I add that, that's going to be 798. 798. And let's hope that's what we had to show. Yes, 131,798. Okay, so that's um, a quick way of doing it by splitting it up into two parts. This is arithmetic, this is geometric, and you can do that. I saw when I set this example, actually, this exam, uh, this question as part of my mock exam for my students some months ago, and some of them, they actually uh, wrote out every single term from 1 to 16. So they just like 3 plus 5 plus 2, and then added to that, when you put one into there, then you put two into there, then three into there, all of the 16 terms and added them together got this. They still got the marks, but they wasted time that they could have used for other parts of the um, paper. So there we have it, question number seven, part one. I'm going to um, do part two on the next video because my computer needs to have a restart.